Subaru has exploited this imprudence as deftly as any brand. In recent years, it has transcended its humble roots as a small, offbeat automaker with an unconventional customer base by convincing an ever larger number of people that not only do they want all-wheel drive, plastic body cladding, and extra ground clearance, they need this stuff. Sure, not all of it is strictly necessary for the daily commute, but what if someday you just want to take a spontaneous camping trip into the wilderness, with all the dogs, in the middle of a snowstorm? The company wants you to believe that you need a Subaru. This is what is known as good marketing. Three-row SUVs play a similar game. Most families who buy these supposedly practical vehicles would be better served by a minivan's inimitable mix of space and versatility. But who wants to be seen in a minivan? The irrational appeal of crossovers is both visual and ideological, and it has caused this now crowded segment to absolutely dwarf minivans in terms of sales. Subaru is set to double down on the want-slash-need duality with the new, 2019 Ascent. Having learned from its misadventure with the forgotten Trebekka an SUV with an optional third row, sold here from 2005 to 2014, that was too small, too expensive, and too weird looking to succeed Subaru is aiming the ascent at the heart of the three-row crossover market. Like well-established models such as the Ford Explorer, Honda Pilot, Mazda CX-9, and Toyota Highlander, the ascent is an unabashed minivan surrogate. It fits squarely into this segment with its sizable footprint, 7 or 8 passenger capacity, tall wagonoid shape, and a price that ranges from just under $33,000 for the base model to more than $45,000 for the top tier touring. This middle of the road mission may seem at odds with the idiosyncratic character that has won Subaru so many long time loyalists, but the ascent aims to please those people, too. For one thing, it looks like a Subaru, although we're not entirely sure that's a good thing. It doesn't take much squinting to see the Ascent as an overinflated, awkwardly proportioned Outback slash Forester mashup. The design team played it safe on this one, a decision that's admittedly tough to fault when the brand is setting sales records in the United States nearly every month. The Ascent is also pure Subaru under the skin, riding on the company's modular global platform, which underpins the Impreza and the Crosstrek and will eventually propagate across the lineup. Although there are a few hard points shared with those smaller SUVs, company engineers dramatically stretched the platform for this application. Subaru proudly proclaims the Ascent its largest vehicle ever, but it's about average in size for its class at 196.8 inches long, 71.6 inches tall, and 76.0 inches wide. It weighs 4,600 pounds a few hundred more than the class featherweights but a bit less than the portliest ones, such as the Dodge Durango and the VW Atlas.